Hey YouTube, it's Ryan Holly once again, PB70CDOEM. And what we are doing this time, if you watched my last video of the Aptiva recovery process and making a boot floppy disk for it in an alternative way, we are going to run the OEM setup, which we um, did the first part of in my last video. So we will click OK to restart. And this is just finalizing some settings and putting in start menu content. Getting ready to run Windows 95 for the first time. Except I've used Windows 95 many, 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 many years. I would say... Hmm... Since 1997, to be honest. So I'd say that's about... Um, hold on. You know what? Well, I will. Oops. Twenty-four years, okay. That's how long I've used Windows 95, is about 24 years from to this day. And again, today is November 21st of 2021 that I'm filming this video. Upload date might be different, but I'm going to do what I can to upload to my channel and put everything together. I mean, has been successfully entered into the registry. Mm hmm. You want to read that. Now it's doing some... Uh, it's installing Microsoft Works. Of course, IBM and Microsoft, back in the day, they uh, struggled with each other quite a bit. In fact, um, the IBM company had a class action lawsuit. I don't know who sued them, but it was because of their um, sound modem M-Wave adapters having compatibility issues. Now, if you, unless you get to know them really well, and this was probably the issue, I'm also going to be making a tutorial on how to install the M-Wave software and drivers on Windows 95, as well as DOS and Windows 3.1, and IBM's OS2 Warp version 3.0. I will also be doing a um, clean install of Windows 95 and how to install the M-Wave drivers. And even though a clean install, you'll get the um, 256 colors, well, it'll probably start out as 16 colors on the VGA, there's a IBM Aptiva Technical Update CD, which I will also be doing a review of as soon as this is done, probably in my next video. There's updated and enhanced M-Wave drivers on it that work pretty well. You just got to know the right way to install them. There's a couple different ways you could do it, and I will be showing how you can do that without hassle. But for now, we're going to concentrate on this right here. This actually takes about a couple minutes, depending on what master CD you might use. Yeah, for the Aptiva M series models and A series models, M for magic, and then a for Odyssey, even though the word Odyssey starts with an O. I um, think the reason the IBM company did that is because they didn't want people to mistakenly think that the letter O could be a number zero, because they look so much alike. I know of some people that would actually write down a number zero and put a dot in the middle of the circle of the number zero because you know to make a number zero or a letter O you just draw a circle 
or write a circle, however you want to put it. It's talking about CD autoplay that it actually is disabled for the um, rapid part of the rapid resume feature to work. I might even make a review on that. <clears throat> um, skip the printer. I'm going to put down Pacific Time because I live in Spokane, Washington. It's probably doing another an update on the M-Wave adapter. Of course, this current M-Wave adapter driver is okay, except it's not really installed properly, and I say that is because um, with this particular M-Wave install, the um, volume control is not on the um, right side of the taskbar next to where the clock is, and even if you go into the control panel to um, enable it, it won't let you, it'll be grayed out. I've actually checked. <clears throat> so this is what I use this little update for. Windows 95. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Um... Type in user. No, we don't need a password. It'll just prevent that window from coming up. Which actually, I would prefer that it didn't come up. Take a tour, and we'll close out of that. Mm, nope. Nope. It's abandonware. And the IBM company. This is the Aptiva guide, we'll just skip through that for now. Nope, we don't want it to start after him. No, this is all abandoned where it's all outdated. Can't really send it in, it'll just come back as address not found, could not be delivered. I've actually tried it before and yeah, it was sent back to me. However, if we go into the win.ini folder, we can just take it out, and there we go. Now you can see right here at the left of the um, taskbar, there's no volume control. Even if I were to click on the uh, control panel icon and go to multimedia, see it's grayed out can't really do anything so uh, yeah that's the IBM company's fault so this is how you um, would register the Windows 95 OEM setup on an IBM Aptiva computer and we will run the IBM Aptiva update CD through Actually, before that, I also have a service CD I want to run through. In fact, I'll go ahead and um, show that off real quick. I have it on the Internet Archive as well. As soon as I can get it out. This is what the CD looks like. Got about five and a half more minutes to do this video. There's also a little booklet. I'm not going to go through it. What it actually mentions to do on a Windows 95 system is restart the system into MS DOS mode. And if I remember correctly, I think I'm supposed to type in the word service. Also, um, before I do that, there's another file that I would like to um, 
move from the root directory of the hard drive to the PS1 tools folder, or you could just make a second copy of the file. So type in copy space sys level dot ibm c colon slash ps1 tools and what's actually in that particular file is the um well volume label of the hard drive and it'll they call it the software revision so now we will go to the d drive okay it's the command i get a type This is it right here, so yeah, service. This just updates a few things, not that it really matters. About to install Windows 95 service patches. Do you wish to continue? We'll hit yes. This technically just updates some of the um, system software that is on the system. some of the game stuff and I'll be doing a small review of some of the software at some point. Does another copy of the um, M-Wave software and drivers. Okay. It does look a lot like the recovery program, and on a Windows 95 system, it really doesn't really take all that long at all. Okay. Let's type in exit, because we were in DOS mode. Two and a half more minutes. I kind of wish I could do unlimited time on YouTube, but I don't know if I gotta pay for something, or... Well, maybe not. I don't know how Billy Core from the Nostalgia Mall did it. I actually can't remember. Except I think he had a cell phone, though, which I don't have. Okay, the registration setup came up again. because I ran the service CD through. Just repeat the same step as last time and take out this program right here. Okay. So, this is YouTube user PB70CDOEM. My name is Ryan Hawley. Signing off, I will see you in my next video.